Welcome to the Bosman Viewing, and today we're going to talk about the story of a certain Italian striker. But before we start, let's remind ourselves about what this guy could do. Affectionately known as the Moody Blue, a man that was born to score goals, this is the story of Marco Negri. Born and raised in the city of Milan, Italy, Negri started out his professional football career in the late 80s with Italian side Udinese. Over the next few years, he would end up playing for multiple different clubs at various levels of Italian football, before earning a move that would transform his career when he chose to join Serie B side Perugia. Negri was able to make an immediate impact at his new club, scoring 18 goals in his first season that played a huge role in helping his side gain promotion to Serie A. The following season, Negri would continue his impressive goal scoring form for Perugia by scoring 15 goals in Serie A, which at the time was viewed as the toughest league in world football. When analysing the 15 goals that Negri scored in the 96 97 Serie A campaign, it is worth mentioning that his goal tally was achieved without the need of any penalty kicks, and it was also more goals scored by Gabriel Batistuta, George Weah and Hernan Crespo that season. On top of this, these goals were also scored against some of the greatest defenders of all time, like Paolo Maldini, Fabio Cannavaro and Franco Baresi. Thanks to his performances and goals, Negri was beginning to attract the attention of many big clubs around Europe, and in 1997 he chose to join Scottish giants Glasgow Rangers. Negri was signed by legendary Rangers manager Walter Smith for around £3.7 million, and he was being viewed as a long time replacement for the club's iconic striker Ali McCoist. Negri would also be joined by eight other new signings that summer, with fellow Italians Lorenzo Amoriso, Sergio Perini and Reno Cattuso being some of the high profile players that were brought in beside him that transfer window. This was part of a Rangers squad overhaul as a way they could improve a successful but ageing squad. At the time, the club was aiming to win an historic 10 league titles in a row, and the hopes were that Negri could fire them to glory. The expectation and pressure was high for Negri to score goals quickly at his new club, but the manner in which he started out his Rangers career was astounding. After only 10 league games into the 97-98 season, Negri had managed to score an unbelievable 23 goals with five of these taking place in one match, during a famous 5-1 win over Dundee United at Ibrox where he scored all five goals. This almost unimaginable goal record made Negri an instant fans favourite, and with him on the side, hopes were high that Rangers could now go on to win the coveted 10 league titles in a row. Thanks to his 23 league goals, Negri was easily at the top of the goal scoring charts in Scotland, far ahead of his nearest rival at the time, Celtic's Henrik Larsson. To try and emphasise just how remarkable this goal scoring feat was, if you compare his stats to all of the top leagues around Europe, you'll see that he had scored significantly more than the Premier League's top goal scorers, along with a lot more goals than La Liga's top goal scorers, and even when you look at Serie A, viewed as the best league in the world with the best strikers, nobody came close to matching Negri's goals. In fact, if he'd been able to maintain this phenomenal goal scoring form for the remainder of the league campaign, he would have finished with an astonishing 81 goals. What would then happen next to Marco Negri could never have been predicted. Halfway through the best season of his career, Negri chose to join club teammate Sergio Perini for a game of squash as a way to maintain his fitness levels. During said game, Perini had a shot that Negri lost sight of and the ball smashed him directly in the centre of his eye at full speed. The damage was so severe, it caused his retina to become detached from his eye and required immediate laser surgery. Negri described the injury in his own words, saying, The squash shot was so powerful and landed with such ferocity, it had thrown my eye back into my head until it bounced off the membrane that separated it from the brain. This freak accident caused Negri to be out of action for a significant period of time, and left him with permanent issues with his vision that would cause him major problems for the rest of his career. After being rushed back to action and trying to regain match fitness, Negri struggled to recapture his previous goal scoring touch, and he was only able to score a further three more goals over the next few months. During this time, Rangers' bitter rivals Celtic were able to overtake the Jairs and win the Scottish League, 
preventing Rangers and Negri from winning the sought after 10 league titles in a row. Despite suffering from his terrible eye injury, along with other injuries he endured throughout that season, Negri would finish the season with a very respectable 33 goals to his name, narrowly missing out on the European Golden Boot and finishing the campaign with more goals than some of the biggest names in world football. The following season would see a new manager arrive with Dick Advoca taking charge of the club. He would allow Negri the chance to prove his fitness and stay at Rangers, however with new strikers being signed and his playing time being reduced, Negri opted to move back to Italy. From here, he would play in both Serie A and Serie B for numerous clubs before choosing to retire in 2005. The story of Marco Negri is often followed with the words, what could have been, but for many football fans who watched him at his peak, they will never forget the impact it was made by the Moody Blue. Thanks for watching and as always this is the Bosman View. We hope you enjoyed the video and if there's any other football topics you'd like covered, drop us a comment down below. If you did enjoy the video, if you could leave us a like, that'd be great. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.